16 is pretty young to be on tour. Um, are you having a hard time coping, you know, being away from friends and family or? Uh... Um, yeah, you get really lonely considering there's a huge age gap. I mean, most of everybody's going on 30 or in their late 20s and um, I'm 16, still trying, you know, I still have my days where I just want to be completely annoyingly stupid. <laughs> and everyone just wants me to grow up and I can't be that way. And I do miss my family, and although I never miss my family, I miss them now. Um, and I don't really have any friends besides one, so, but I miss her, so. But yeah, it, it is hard and you have to sacrifice, but I mean, there's lots of sacrifices for everything. Kids in school would love to be out doing this, and oh, darn it, I, I just can't go to school right now. <laughs> <laughs> in your article on CCM, you said, uh, you want to be close to the mountains and still close to the beach, and you can never live in Nashville. What does that say about your personality? Um, well, that's so funny. They put that as like the first line in the article, and I don't, I don't necessarily care if I do move there. But being a West Coast girl is kind of like you just, you have. And when people, when you're, when you say, "Oh, I'm from California," you automatically kind of have this like in where you're like either okay she's just a weird one because the culture is so different there like our humor is so different and like the way just we are we're just so much more sporadic than in the north or the south and I just like having that and growing up I lived in like nine different places so I've got like a little piece of every state that's come along with me so I'm kind of you know odd. You mentioned the AIDS gap with uh, you and the other artists you're touring with. Uh, do you feel, you know, they're giving you more support or helping along the way? Or, uh, you know, how do you feel that, you know, them being older is helping you or not? Um, yeah, it's great. I think because I'm learning a whole lot more um, than I thought I would, uh, being educated just necessarily in the realm of music and um, all that goes along with it. Because, you know, when you're in kind of my age, like when you're 16 or 15 or 17, you're all into like, a lot of kids are into like just like pop culture and pop music and don't necessarily know about the older stuff, um, the older stuff, I feel so young now, but um, they don't necessarily know about everything that maybe someone that is like 30 years old or like late 20s would know because they have experienced a lot more life. So I get to kind of... Um, peek into what that's all about, which is great. But then also, you know, I get the whole jaded humor. So, uh, this is your first album out. Are you uh, back writing again, or are you just, you know, singing for now, or are you, you know, what are your future plans? Um, well, I'm just always going to be continually writing because being a songwriter is probably your best bet in life for anything. Um, I'm going to finish this tour, which this tour is a long tour, it's three months, and it goes till November 19th, and then I plan on taking some time to develop my skill, develop what I need to do, actually figure out what in the world I need to say and um, sing, and just take time to pay my dues and be uh, a normal person so I can experience life. Cause if you don't experience, then you don't have any stories to tell. And I've got to have some stories to tell my people. Um, so I plan on doing that. Maybe I'll do a couple of dates here and there, and then we'll go and do some stu do summer things. And then um, hopefully I'll, re I'll record another album, and it'll be released like right after I turn 18. 